let's learn how to create a classroom blog using 21 classes and this is 21 classes located at 21 classes.com and as you can see I am on my blog portal I'm already logged in and uh, if I want to see what that looks like I can go to view portal and that's just my blog so this is the blog that I have that my students will see when they log on to the Barnes class blog and I can give them the web address barnesclass.21classes.com or if I have another place uh, that we use as a classroom site maybe a wiki or something I could just link to the blog that way but this is what they'll see and and I can add different pages and I've got recent posts over here uh, news and announce announcements and they come down here and I've got uh, the blog set up where it is showing recent blog posts so here's a uh, a blog from a student Smith John I always like to have my students use the a username with their last name first because that way they're easy to locate um, but you don't have to do it that way so uh, I can go there if and do it that way if I want to uh, I've got another one down here someone uh, summarizing loser so we read the story or novel loser and I asked them to go to their blog and put in a summary of that um, and I, I can click more that way if I want to see that and now I'm on Ethan Barnes blog and I can do it that way as well so uh, that's just a, an idea of what it looks like so uh, if I want to go back to um, I want to get back to the dashboard and you're going to do that administration and that brings me to this very user-friendly admin page got class home page I can put in uh, a new entry if I want to and I come right here to write new entry very user-friendly and, and that's what I love about 21 classes uh, I put in a title I come down here into a very nice large area to uh, type something in this is my class blog and as you can see I can put that in I can select that I can bold that um, you know I, I've got if I want to make that a link to something I can click on insert link there and uh, that will come up and I can put a, a web address in I can use uh, uh, um, uh, some smiley faces there's just all kinds of things I can put in pictures uh, video just about anything that I want to uh, if I want to go to student accounts let's say I want to manage my student accounts I come down here it's very easy to uh, create accounts to invite members to monitor your students and, and this is great uh, I can view uh, from here maybe I have a real long list I don't right now because I'm only using this as an example but I might have a very long list of students and I could go down those any way I want uh, I can edit because I am the administrator of the site I can edit the uh, the blog portals of students I can log in as a student which is a nice feature I can block them if they're doing something I don't like uh, I can send a message I really like this part it's a great feature for security purposes on 21 classes and I can create templates so all I need to do is click a template and it'll send that message so this one says offending other users at Barnes class and then here's the text which I already have in and it will automatically put in the user's name you have repeatedly offended other users and I send that and that person will get that and, and maybe I want to change my content illegal content at Barnes class and I can do that as well and that is really a tremendous feature uh, I can go to layouts if I want to change the layout I can select another layout over here uh, there's all kinds of things that I can do there so uh, you know I can just click on something I can choose the layout uh, I can click OK and uh, I, I've changed that um, so I go up and I view my portal and now I've changed that just as easy as that then I go back to administration if I want to change it back this is 21 classes at 21classes.com in five minutes or less